Hello and welcome to the University of Crucible Tactics. My name is Professor Brilliant, you can call me just Professor B, and today is the first day, and today is the first course of this semester. So today we will be talking about control. I know some of you are here as a new students and some of you are already repeating the, their studies and I'm talking about you John 505 okay so be concentrated and write down all the notes that I'm telling you. In today's class we'll be talking about control. In today's course we'll be looking through the map Bannerfall. So this is our case study. We have three zones in total A, B and C. A as Alpha, Beta and creativity. As a team you spawn both on, on both sides. One team spawns closer to A, one team spawns closer to C and the B is always in the middle. The way you should be, uh, it should be you have to go with your team at least two more teammates and capture zone A. That's going to be your first priority. B is going to be your third priority and in case there is no one at C and uh, it's not as busy at B or A, you can capture C. However, if you look at the uh, points, if you capture C zone, you're gonna swap spawns. In case the whole team or the whole class, let's say we are the class, where all classmates, six teammates are at the zone C, capturing one zone and the rest of the enemy team are around this zone A and B, you will swap spawns. So basically A would be enemy team, team zone and C will be your zone. That's the lesson. Okay, so zone B. Why is this B must be captured at all times? As I told you, A zone to capture it is the most important at the beginning. Then you have to control and capture zone B. You At least one or two guardians must be on the zone B in order to protect it so that no one would capture it. You have great sights. So you can have a, uh, zone B at back, you can control this corner, you can control this corner and you have if you have a scout rifle or sniper rifle you can look out at where the heavy spawns. So that's gonna be your top priority to control B if you're at B. If you spawn once again at A and it's being captured, once again you have to kill whoever's capturing it, be careful about it and then capture A. The most important, uh, even more important than capturing zone B and controlling it and then having A always con uh, controlled is to capture the zones. Do not forget, this is a control match, okay? That's where you are controlling zones. It doesn't mean clash. Clash is where you go around, kill people, die. And this is our motto, okay? Firstly, you have to kill whoever's on the zone and then capture it. If it's not captured and it's gray, just like the C zone, you have to capture it. That doesn't mean you can go and kill people straight away. Firstly, you capture it. That's how you win the matches, that's how you control the zones, and that's how you get the W all the time. Okay, students? I hope you written that down because next, next week we're gonna have a test. So don't be scared, of course it's just the beginning of semester and the first lesson is pretty easy where I'm gonna ask certain questions and you will be answering them. It doesn't mean I'm gonna be this exam, it's gonna be just a test where I see your knowledge, where I look at your how you were listening during the class and that's the way I'm gonna know whether you learned something or not. If not, we're gonna have another test next following week. Okay, so for today's lesson, what I told you, if you spawn at A, you capture A first, then you go to B, then you start killing people, okay? If this zone C is not captured, it's recommended to capture it, but it's not, you don't have to capture it because you have two zones already, your points are doubled already, so if you're doing well as a team, you must win, you will win, and there's no arguing against that. 
because if you capture C and there's no one at A, you just swap spawns and this is no point in this, okay? That's how we need to work and every time you capture the zone, you get a point. So let's uh, demonstrate that. As you can see here, I'm at C point, point, control. Okay, so we're waiting, we're capturing. As you can see, capturing takes a while. So you have to stay on the point. You cannot be off the point because it won't count, right? The thing about this as well, when you get three points at once, you get the power play. What that means is that you get triple points, which is insane for your team. And if you have your heavy, which is great, you can deal more damage, you can get more kills, and in case you're bad, die next to your teammate. Use your super, don't forget to use your super, don't keep it for the whole game, use it. But the main point, as I told you, it is controlling zones. Don't forget, if it's red, that means it's bad, okay? so. Students, this is going to be everything for today's lesson. I hope you learned something and I will have test next week. So be careful. And for the next week, I need you to read the chapter Clash, page 101. And we'll go through how it works, what it does. And then we'll see if we're going to have the test or not, depending on your results the next week from this lesson. I hope you have a great day. And here's the bell, so we're just in time to finish it. Take your guns, take your helmets, and I'll see you all the next week.